Hi guys, Techman here with Techman Short. No, that's not what I meant. And that's not even funny. Can we please remove the shorts? Right then, I'll start again. Techman here with the Techman Short. A quick short update. There's been considerable delays for the Leoc 2048 Watt Tower Solar Power Station or Portable Power Station. And these are for the backers who are from outside the US, the European backers and those backers from the rest of the world who are outside the US and Canada. The most difficult part of this is that LEOC has not been very honest about it at all. In fact, they've kept it quite discreet. Backers have been frustrated with the ongoing delays in getting the product out to their doorstep. Reading through the comments, backers are regularly asking, when is my purchase going to be delivered? And unfortunately, the theme for not only LEOC, but many of the manufacturers on Indiegogo is, very soon, we'll let you know, Keep an eye out in the update section, we'll let you know, we're trying our best to speed things up. I came across an interesting comment by one of the backers who called out Leok and said that Leok promised to ship out the units on May 15th for the rest of the world, those backers not from the US and Canada. However, one month later, the units have just been shipped. Or have they? Leoc has promised that the new shipping date for the rest of the world is June the 10th. As of the recording of this video, Leoc has not yet confirmed whether they actually shipped out the units as promised. Now the comment that I alluded to earlier in this video pointed out that Leoc actually promised on three separate updates that they will ship out the units on May 15th or thereabouts. I have fact checked this comment and can confirm this is actually true. You can see on the screen now the update for May the 14th, 2021. Leoc initially discussed the first and second batch of products that they shipped out to US and Canada. They then move on to the rest of the world. And you can see in the comments below, they outline the shipping strategy they have for the rest of the world. It says here for 50 backers in Japan, your orders will be shipped out on 15th May. Below that it says for the 60 European backers, your orders will be shipped out on 15th May or May 15th. Down here it says for the 30 British backers, your orders will be sent out on May 15th. And last but not least, for the 60 backers from Australia, Switzerland, Italy, Kuwait, Malaysia, New Zealand, amongst all these other countries here, your orders will be shipped on May 15th. This is all crystal clear. Fast forward to the update on May the 2nd, 2021. You can see here clearly here at the bottom, it says, as for the rest of the orders from different countries of the world, they will be sent out before May 15th and we will keep you updated once the cargo is loaded on the ship. So here they're saying it can be shipped out before May the 15th. Excellent news. Now let us take a look at the update provided on May the 6th 2021. And you can see at the bottom here it says for the rest of the orders around the world we know that you may be feeling a bit frustrated but your orders are on the agenda. They will be sent out in a week or so. We will keep you updated once the tracking numbers are available and I believe by the tracking numbers they mean when the units arrive at the local warehouses and are packed and ready to be sent out to each individual backer. Interestingly there were further updates pushed out in May 2021. Now these updates were aimed at resolving issues with faulty units and responding to issues that Hobotech found in his product review. But surprisingly, there's no mention of any delays or the fact that the units are still in their China warehouse. Fast forward to the latest update which was available on June the 6th, 2021. It says very clearly down here, For all orders outside the USA and Canada, the team apologizes for the delay. Please accept our sincere apologies. The good news is that we will send out your units along with solar panels on June the 10th. Now forgive me, but good news would have been if they shipped out the units on May the 15th or even earlier. This is actually bad or unwanted news. Now my question is, why can't Leoc just be honest? Tell your backers what's going on. Just say, you know what guys, we were supposed to send out your units on May the 15th, but we've encountered a problem. And here it is. We now anticipate to ship out the units on such and such a date. In the meantime, we will keep you posted on what's happening and what action we're taking. That's all we can ask from you Leoc. That's all that we ask from you. This brings me back to the point which I briefly mentioned in my welcoming video. And that is that we need to discuss crowdfunding platforms as a whole. There needs to be a complete overhaul on crowdfunding platforms and strategies. There needs to be better backer or buyer protection, penalties for delays, 
easier options for backers to pull out or request a refund and an obligation to manufacturers to provide accurate information and updates. We'll discuss all of this in a separate video regarding crowdfunding and the platform regulations. On a side note, I'd like to mention that a number of backers have mentioned having problems with their units. They've raised these concerns with the LIOC, but it seems that little is being done to troubleshoot those issues or provide instructions on how to return faulty items in return for a working one or providing a refund to those who prefer just to have their money back. LIOC need to step up and address those issues. They need to promptly respond to customer emails or people will question their credibility. And lastly, speaking of communication and emails, I emailed a number of manufacturers a fortnight ago with regards to this channel and posed a couple of questions. I emailed the likes of Leoc, Jackery, Zero Breeze, EcoFlow, All Powers, and Bluetti, amongst others. Now, to this date, I have not received a response from any of the manufacturers bar one, and that was Zero Breeze. The response I got from Zero Breeze was actually three days later, but at least they did get back to me. Needless to say, the response I got from Zero Bees was to email a different mailbox. I duly did as instructed, and I'm yet to receive a response from them. This is what I say with regards to poor communication and the need for manufacturers to step up. Yes, I understand that with all these campaigns and products, your mailboxes are flooded with emails. But come on, you are the artifacts of your own downfall by not responding to emails and letting your inboxes overflow. These manufacturers need to employ staff to monitor and manage their inboxes. They should also have a good understanding of English. Sometimes the breakdown in communication is due to lack of English or lack of understanding. Right guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.